Good morning everybody, this is Denise at Fruity Paradise Island and this morning I will make a recipe that I took out of my new book that my daughter got me, all raw, except I will modify it to make it lower fat. Okay, so it is a raw chickpea hummus that I will make this morning and like I said, I have modified a few ingredients. So what I have is two cups of soaked chickpeas that I have let sprout for a whole night. So they are getting short little sprouts coming out of the tip. Okay. Then I have one large garlic clove, half a cup of red pepper. I switched a teaspoon of salt for three quarters cups of celery. I'll put all them. I was hesitating on if I should make it in the food processor or the Vitamix. I'll go for the Vitamix. I hope it's a good choice. So the garlic, celery, red pepper. I switched a quarter cup of lemon juice for a whole lemon. Then I will put the chickpeas as well in there. Then I'll add a quarter cup of tahini. Okay, this is an eighth cup, so I'll put two of them. There we go for one eighth, and I'll add another eighth. I hope it turns out well. Like I said, it's the. F I've never had a raw hummus, so I only tried two. And I didn't like them as much as cooked chickpea hummus. So I'm anxious to see how this will turn out. Okay, one teaspoon of cumin. They say two. I'm starting with one because I do not want to make it too strong and I can always add a second one after. So one teaspoon of cumin. There we go, that smells good. And I'll replace, was it three quarters cup of oil? Yes, they wanted three quarters cup of olive oil in this recipe. Now that's a lot. I could try water, but I have this can of coconut water open. So I'll add three quarters cup of coconut water. There's already the fat from this anyway, from the tahini. And I'm gonna go blend this up. Let's see how it turns out. good choice it all blended up smoothly and it smells really good and it is really good oh my goodness okay we taste the chickpeas a lot a lot more than in a cooked version so I like that it gives like a nutty flavor oh my goodness Okay, so here is what it looks like. It gives quite a lot. Are there measurements on, written here that I can see clearly? Okay, 1,000. It gives four cups of creamy hummus. It's not that thick, but I'm sure it will thicken with time in the fridge. Let me try it on a celery stick. Fantastic. I will not add any cumin. I think it's just fine like that. Okay. So 
don't look at this. If you like this raw hummus video, give me a thumbs up. Try it out. There's plenty more. You can use that as a dip on raw crackers that you've made. I'll prepare more veggies, a beautiful plate, and decorate that with maybe a little bit of paprika or a little bit more cumin on top, little pieces of cut red pepper, and there we go. So thank you for watching this video. Bye. So it gave me two beautiful bowls. Okay, each one has about two cups in it. And look at how I decorated it. Simply put red pepper, chopped celery in the middle, and a bit of cumin over it. They say it stays good three days in the fridge. And I have my Christmas Eve party in two days. So I will definitely serve this with a platter of veggies and I want to make some crackers. Bye!